Right, you're ready. I hope you're enjoying this. <laughs> uh, hang on, I've lost me, um, I've lost me extended page bit. Let's put it back on. Oh God, what's all that? Hang on. Right. So there we go. So where we are? Where we are? Where we are? So the eighth one. So n squared is even, so n must be even. So this is what I'm saying here now. So if n squared is even, I multiply the two, then n is even. So I'm putting the multiple of two bit to help you when you come to do the one with root three, because you end up with multiples of three. Right, so I've got an issue here, is that I've said that n's even, and I've said that n's even. My problem is that originally I defined root 2 as m over n, so my root 2 is, is even over even, and that's the, how this fails, because if it's an even number, a multiple of 2, divided by an even number, another multiple of 2, it can be cancelled down, and we've said at the start that it can't be cancelled down, so let's find something then we can use. Uh, here we go, this one. What number are we on now? Is that number 9 then? There. So if m and n are both even, if m and n are both even, remember what I'm really saying is multiple of 2. Uh, so if m and n are both even, they have a common factor. And we defined it where they can't cancel down, so they can't have a common factor. No, that doesn't look like any. I did that a bit wrong then. What happened then? Here we go. So our last little bit is therefore. Uh, oh no, hang on. Oh, that was there, don't I? This contradicts the statement that M and N have no common factors. This. Have no common factors. So my fingers failed. My contradictions failed. Scare of it, that's the one in. So therefore, where was it? Root 2 is irrational. Because what you could say, where is it? No, that's fine. There. That's it. What do you reckon? Proper full on that. Um, there. <laughs> Have fun with that one. Right, I'm going. I'm not doing it anymore. Bye.